Hello, hello and uh, welcome again to my section on the 36 channels. And uh, before I move on, I want to recap with you and look backwards and uh, not only see what we have left behind, but remind you all of what the general approach is that I'm taking here in trying to show to you how the, defin the defined channels that we carry in our design, when they're not left out correctly, how they become the source of our distortion. You know, it is the defined sacral when it is not lived out correctly, that creates frustration in the generator. And um, so we have looked at, you know, the, the pressure channels, the nine channels that grow out of the root in three different directions. And after that, I've taken you to the social channels, you know, the whole hot part of the body graph from the emotional system to the throat and reaching out to the G center. And then I took you to the other side to complete all the splenic channels. And now everything that is left underneath the throat are the four integration channels, which I will keep for the very end of the, of the sequence of the 36 channels for very good reasons. And well, what I'm about to introduce you to today, the six channels that connect the throat center to the sacral right through the middle, through the power column, and which is an area that is known as the penta. So, um, obviously, the, I, I'm going to start with um, the, the channel that is the absolute uh, king and queen of the penta, the channel of the bead, that carries the design of being the keeper of keys. Not singular, not the key, not strategy and response, as simple as that, no, the keys. And you will see that because of its place in the body graph, the sacral connected to the identity, but because of its importance in the function of the, the small group dynamics, the penta, the BG5, where, you know, the small group, whether it is in the family or in the business context, that this is the keeper of the keys that knows or not which keys to apply in any particular context.